Congratulations, Kelly. It's inspiring to hear how you've achieved your goals. I'm joined by the five-time Rolex Junior All-American and just the sixth female back-to-back -back Rolex Junior Player of the Year, my friend and Ping Junior Solheim Cup teammate from Irvine, California, Rose Zhang. Welcome, Rose. Thanks for having me, Amanda. Before we get started, I'm told we have a special guest with a message for you. Hey everybody, Lexi Thompson here. So I want to say big congrats to Rose Zhang for becoming the Rolex Player of the Year. You're playing some amazing golf and I'm sure that you're working very hard, so you should be very proud of yourself. And I also want to say a big thanks to AJGA for just being a great platform for junior golfers. You know, I played a lot of AJGA golf when I was younger and it really tested my game and got me ready for the LPGA Tour. So I want to thank you for that. And I also want to say a big thank you to Rolex just for being such an amazing sponsor and just supporter of golf in general not only for junior golf but for professional tours as well um, you know without your relationship with golf it wouldn't be the same you guys are such a classy company and we're very lucky to have you guys supporting us all so we greatly appreciate everything you guys do and continue to do so and to all the golfers out there you should be very proud of yourselves and continue to work hard and keep your head held high and stay happy and healthy over there that's pretty cool you've had an incredible last two years with the highlights 12 finishes inside the top three since 2018, a Rolex slam, so to speak, as the 2019 Rolex Junior Player of the Year and wins this season at the Rolex Tournament of Champions and Rolex Girls Junior Championship. You defended your pink invitational title for a ninth career AJGA victory, won the U.S. Women's Amateur after the second longest match in history, and tied for 11th as the lowest ever amateur at the ANA Inspiration. What do you say to people who've said you might have had the most outstanding year ever in junior golf? I would say it's such a humbling compliment and I'm just extremely thankful to be able to play competitive golf this year, especially during the pandemic. But in general, I'm just extremely blessed with all the opportunities I've been given. On the extremely long list of accomplishments in the past 12 months, what stands out to you most about the season? Being able to have a Rolex Slam, uh, winning two events, and also uh, getting the Rolex Junior Player of the Year this year is such a great honor to me. To be able to be invited to these Rolex events are such an honor in itself, and uh, winning these are just an extra plus. So I would say being able to be so consistent throughout the year is truly something that I'm grateful for. People want to know your secret. Looking back, what's been most critical to your success? I think what's most critical to my success is just staying in the moment. Uh, whenever I play an event, I never think about having to place a certain finish or winning the event. I always try to go out there and play my best game uh, against the best players in the world. So I think just being able to work on my game and improve on myself while playing with these great players is really what helped me uh, win these events. What are some of your favorite memories from over the years? Over the years, I really enjoyed playing on the Wyndham Cup teams as well as uh, the Junior Ryder Cup and Junior Solheim Cup. Just being able to be on a team with the greatest players as well as the greatest friends is something that I will forever remember. With Maxwell last year, you both spoke about being the first Rolex Junior Players of the Year to be ACE Grant recipients. How important was that support this year? With the ACE Grant program, it really has lifted the burden off my parents' shoulders financially and I'm sure thousands of young golfers out there who may not be financially able to compete in their golf careers feel the same way and I'm just extremely grateful for everything that Ace Grant has offered me um, and I certainly wouldn't be on this platform without the Ace Grant support. So what's the biggest lesson that you've learned in 2020? I've just learned to be extremely thankful uh, throughout this year. Every single tournament I go to, I get to see my amazing friends from around the world and around the country. And having my parents' support as well as my family's support is just something I'm extremely grateful for. And I feel very fortunate to be on this platform and have so many amazing people support me. 
What are your next goals, especially looking forward into college golf? I'm extremely excited to play on the Stanford team next fall and just trying to finish junior golf on a high note, especially with a couple events coming up. I'm extremely excited to you know, be a part of it. In addition, I'm just really looking forward to being able to play on some professional events next year. Rose, it's been great talking to you. Thank you so much for coming and good luck in your next couple events. Thank you so much, Amanda. I've had a blast.